Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Twilight Princess. The last time, I seem to recall... I'm just I'm a little bit foggy on what happened last time, because it's been over a week since I recorded because of my horrible flu. But I seem to remember we took out a mini-boss and got our hands on the hero's bow, which I believe now we can use to gain access to the boss room, which I think is going to be over in this direction. Yeah, pretty much, if I can actually hit this thing. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm proud of that. That was a good shot. I really didn't think that would happen, but whatever, I'll take it. Now, carefully drop down, don't fall off the goddamn bridge. Okay, we're fine. We even tacked and rolled out of it like a badass. But yeah, I do apologize, I still sound kind of hoarse. There's not much I can do about that. Terrible, terrible flu, man. Like, only just starting to fully recover from it. Now we're back full on arrows, which is a kind of weird sentence, but whatever, I'll go with it. And I'll, I'll go. Okay, speaking of arrows, there's a bunch of dicks down there shooting fire ones at me. Now, here's the question, can I hit them from here, or am I going to hit the edge? I hit the edge. kind of thought I might, ouch! I'm doing it! Oh my god, this guy on the watchtower. Screw you, buddy. Just freaking screw you. Ha uh ha! -huh. Finally! Jesus. Yeah, line up so I can knock you down. Okay. Is that everybody? Like, holy shit. Anyone else want to make me into a pincushion? Good god. That's a yes, because there's a dude right there, son of a bitch. Uh, da, da, da. Damn it! I knew I wasn't gonna shoot him in time. Get it. Really? What the hell are you doing spinning around, Link? Okay, screw it. Let's try going over here. Good, we're out of his range. Take that, AI. Okay. Finally, he is dead. Holy crap. What's in the pot? Hey, arrows again. Good. I'm guessing, yes, we have to shoot this bridge down. That should take us to the. Really? That missed? Come on, Link. What the hell? Okay. Ding dong, the bridge is down. Now, here's the question. Can I climb here? No. Can I kill it? No. I thought they might be hitting booty on top of it. Holy shit. That's a lot of dudes. Okay, let's go for a spin attack of justice. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that's crowd control. My god damn. Okay. That's, uh... That was awesome. And you, sir... You get out of here. You saw what I did to your buddies. Don't be freaking suicidal. Oh my god, I see the boss door. Okay, now, let's not make the same mistake we made in the forest temple and ignore, like, one pot, which happens to have the only bloody fairy of the game in it, apparently. And we're gonna smash every pot around here and hope that we actually get a fairy. I'm trying to be careful I don't accidentally walk into it. Or, you know, maybe there won't be a freaking fairy. What the hell? Party. You look friendly. I'm lying. He doesn't look friendly at all. I get a feeling that might be his weak points. Toilet Igniter Virus. Wait, what? Aren't you supposed Oh god, shoot it, shoot her! Okay, that hurts. But yeah, weren't you supposed to be Darbus? Maybe Virus is like his evil name or something, but yeah, that's kind of confusing. Anyway, I'm gonna go out and lay him here and say we're supposed to shoot him in the eyeball thing. Yeah, pretty much. So, what did that do? Well, that seems to have dazed him. What do I do now? I don't really want to go near him, you know he is kind of on fire. I got the feeling my sword probably ain't gonna do jack shit. I... I don't know. Clearly I'm missing something here. I... I wonder, are we supposed to do something with these legs? No? Really? Okay... Do I use the boots? Work with me here, game. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Can I... Oh, okay, we can totally grab the chain. 
Now that makes much more sense. Yeah, probably shouldn't be grabbing it. Oh god. <laughs> I was gonna say, probably have to daze him first. Oh shit, hit him! Oh, you missed Link. I d oh god! Okay, this is going terribly. This is going absolutely freaking terribly. We're gonna run away and smash some of these pots and hope that- Oh, thank you. Thank you, sustenance. Okay, we're gonna try and fully heal, cause yeah. Don't wanna be dying here. Holy shit. He just set a roll fire. Well, we got some arrows back. Now this time. Okay, he's stunned. Going for the kill. Right, grab that freaking chain. Uh, anytime. Oh, there we go. Guessing we probably need the iron boots on, otherwise, you're probably gonna drag us over. Yeah, do we trip him up or something? Yeah, pretty much. Yes! Okay, I figured it out. In kind, of, kind of record time for me. Now, I'm guessing, yes, we can beat the shit out of his eyeball. I don't know what it is with Zelda games, they have like weird finishes with eyes. Like the Twilight Parasite that we killed. It had the giant eyeball in its mouth that we had to, you know, boomerang and then beat the crap out of with our sword. He's got a giant glowing eyeball on his head. We shoot it with a bow and arrow and then beat the crap out of it with our sword. Half the bosses in A Link to the Past are just eyeballs. It's, I don't get it, man. There's some weird eyeball fetish going on. Yeah, the right body. You walk around in a circle and trip the hell over. Boom, son. Eventually. Here we go. Okay, I'm guessing, you know, regular Zelda logic, we probably have to do this three times. Then he'll either probably die or, you know, become Super Saiyan and kill me very quickly. I'm kind of leaning towards the ladder. This seems a little bit easy now. We do have to remember this is only the second dungeon of the game. But yeah. Yeah. You might have just powered up. I can't really tell. Oh, don't be missing. Okay. Alright, go in and get that chain. I, I gotta say, I'm a little bit proud of myself right now. I figured that out way quicker than I thought I would. But, you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm still slow compared to everyone else. I don't really know. Oh, damn. You hit by the pillar on the way down. That's, that's just mean. Okay. Duh. Damn, son. Plunge you attacked his eye. It was freaking brutal. Yes! Victory Gator! That went way better than I expected it to. Well done. I know! Now we have too few shadows. Hmm, you know, you've been very helpful so far. So as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Zent. Go on. That's the name of the King of Darkness who cast his pal of shadows over your world. Not Ganon? He's very strong. You would be nothing uh, to him in your current states. But Zant will never be my king. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. Not that your Zelda is much better. Hey, you leave Zelda alone. It still appalls me that the world of light is controlled by that princess, a carefree youth, a life of luxury. How does that teach duty? But I guess I shouldn't begrudge her the circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it after all, and I would never wish harm on her. Now, as long as I can get my hands on the few shadows, I'll be fine, just fine. Well, just one more left, shall we? Yeah, I guess. I do kind of need to pick up my booty, though. Oh. He looks uh, more Goron-like now. I was gonna say, he didn't look much like a Goron to me. But completely different. You got a hunk container. Your life energy is increased by one. Cool. What up, dude? I kicked the crap out of you. He's got a Will Smith 80s haircut. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm? What am I doing here? Ugh, my head. It aches. Yeah, I shot the shit out of it. You are welcome. Want to go outside or you're done here? I think so. I damn well hope so. I must go now. My home planet needs me. Beam me up, Scotty.
Heroic Lake. Yes? North of here, across the plain and past the Great Stone Bridge, and the lands guarded by the spirit Lanaru. You shall find one who you seek. I, I don't know what I seek anymore. Everything I knew was a lie. The main boy, it's still got to be Ganon, surely, just under a different name. Link! Look, a little Colin, he's okay. We all kind of knew that, but you know. Ilya! She's doomed, man! You've got to save Ilya! Dude, one thing at a time, holy shits. Those monsters left me with the other kids, but they must have taken her somewhere else. Whenever I thought I couldn't go on, I would think of you and Ilya and hold on, Link. That's kind of creepy, Colin. You have sandals. See? I, I'm fine now. Link's like, I, I don't trust you, dude. Remember what I told you back in Ordon, Link? Not really. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Link. So, you don't have to worry about me anymore. Go help Ilya. Leave the children to me. I will watch over them, I swear it. Yeah, like you did last time. Do not let their fates trouble you. Go to those who need you. In Hyrule, countless tales are told of the ancient hero, and your deeds bring them all to mind. May the graces of the great goddesses who shaped Hyrule beat, bear you on your way, not beat you. That would be weird. That's right, you bow before your king. Can't help but notice Colin's like the only one not bowing. Of everyone, I probably saved you more than the others. You could at least bow to me, dude. Anyway, I'm gonna check very quickly how long I've been recording, because frankly, I have no bloody idea, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and terrible, terrible news. I recorded like 10 minutes of footage, game crashed right as I was about to end the video, lost all the footage. Didn't save the game either. So I did it again. Swear to God, the game crashed in almost the exact same place right as I was about to end it again. So I'm re-recording this for the third time now, so you're gonna have to forgive me for rushing here. Like I say, I've already done this twice before. I swear to God, if it crashes again, I'm going to cry. Anyway, you'll notice there's a bunch of Gorons around the town now. All they do is really give you lifts, like uh, they jet propel you up in the air, so you can get to the higher parts. We don't really need to do that right now, at least I don't think so. Hey now, bud, how about this now? Yep. I finally managed to get my numbers together and open up shop again. Well, sort of. I guess I've only got one type of bomb, but hey, that's one more than none, right? If only my storehouse had survived. But hey, ain't as bad as all that, I'll add more types as we go. For now, have yourself a look-see at what I've got so far. Yeah, Ezra, we can buy bombs, holy shit. What's this now? You ain't got a bomb bag for carrying bombs, I've got a special offer going right now. My bomb bag, premium kit, which comes with a bag and bombs just for 120 rupees. I'll take that shit. Give it to me. That's right, now, you'll get to taste the true height of perfection with my finely crafted bombs. Oh, and you can combine bombs and arrows to make bomb arrows when you need range explosives. I'll send you a letter with the details later so you can read all about it at your leisure. For the third time. You got the bomb bag with bombs, blah blah blah. So yeah, he will have others at some point. I assume super bombs, I don't know what the third one's gonna be. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, anyway. So now we need some more money, because I believe there's a shield we can buy for 200 rupees. Now, we could go back to the Goron Mines, because there was money bloody everywhere, but... That's a long walk just to even get back there, let alone going all the way through the mines, to get the tre treasure chests, and then coming all the way back out again. So, I've got a much better idea than that. I'm going to go out in the Hyrule Field, I believe there was a giant rock there I could blow up, and it dropped a ton of money, so... We'll just do that. Speaking of rocks to blow up, there's also this one over yonder. Now... I guess I may as well show you how the arrow bomb thing works, even though it's just kind of a waste of an arrow at this point. But yeah, basically, you put one in each slot, press R, and they just kind of get combined. It's really kind of strange, but, you know, it works. And yeah, for some reason, completely randomly, there's two chickens in here. And speaking of chickens, someone told me that apparently if you beat... Hey, we got money. Apparently if you beat the cocks in this game, just like uh, in A Link to the Past, and assumably the other Zelda games, something happens, so yeah. We're just gonna relentlessly beat this cock here and we'll see what happens. Get, come here, buddy. Yeah, we can... <laughs> I just launched that, dude. No, no, no. Come I, I know you don't want to get beaten the crap out of, but I gotta do it. It's for testing. Hey. I... Wait, what? I'm the chicken? 
That's amazing! Can I beat up Link? No, I can't. That sucks. Hey, baby. How's it going? Aww. Okay. That's weird! Okay, so you beat the crap out of a cock and then you temporarily become one. I'm trying to think how useful that could be. I mean, I guess maybe you could, like, move it to somewhere that it otherwise wouldn't go to and then maybe use it to fly yourself somewhere. That's my best guess. I don't really know. But yeah, anyway. Let's use the Iron Boots of Justice, because I believe there should be a heart piece down here. Speaking of heart pieces, one of the times when it crashed, I actually went all the way back to the Forest Temple to get a heart piece that we missed there. And it turns out, because the monkeys aren't there anymore, we can't actually go across the gaps. However, I did Google it. Apparently, you can still go back and get that heart piece, but uh, we need an item yet. Uh, we need an item that we don't have yet. So in the meantime, we can't get it yet. But when we do get that item, go back and grab that heart piece, because I'm going to try and collect all of them. I don't know how I'll achieve that, but we're at least going to try. Right, well, anyway, I'm going to go grab the money out in the field, so I will be right back. Okay, unless I'm mistaken, I do believe this was the rock over here that I blew up. At least I think so. And yeah, it dropped like a butt ton of cash, which is extremely handy. We only need five rupees to be able to afford the shield, but, you know, at this point, any extra cash is handy, because otherwise we're going to be completely flat broke. All right, let's blow this shit up. You damn well better drop the money this time, because if you don't, I swear to God. I don't see the money. Oh, thank you. Okay, for a second there, kind of panicked. Also, I don't know where the hell the lender guy's gone. He ambushed me the last two times I came out here, but he hasn't done it this time. Do I need to be on the path? I have no... Oh, there you are. Mr. Link, wait! God, that guy is creepy. Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. There is a letter for you, Link. Two letters, in fact. You're right, buddy. I got the point. You got a letter. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. You get out of here, weirdo. I do not like that man. Okay, I was checking out letters very quickly. Like I say, I already went over this like a million times. The first one just explains exactly what I already told you. If you equip the arrows, or the, rather the bow and the bombs, you can combine them. This one's kind of interesting. New Sundry Shop in Kakariko. If you haven't already been by to look, I have an item that isn't available anywhere else. Come by before someone else snatches it. And please, no window shoppers. Now, I'm assuming this is the shield that I saw, but it might be something else. I don't really know, because it's not specific about which store it is. But yeah, I don't think there are any other stores that we can use right now. There might be... I don't know. We shall see. We'll check them out anyway, because... Yeah, if there's one store open now that wasn't before, there might be others. It's worth a look. And again, I do apologize that I know all of this, but there's like nothing I can do about it. Unfortunately, because the way I'm recording at the moment, when the game crashes, it just corrupts the freaking file. Like, it loses half of the footage, and at that point, I may as well just record the other half, because it's 10 minutes of footage, it's an extra 5 minutes, and that way I don't have to string them together and blah blah blah, it's just, it's just easier that way. Hey, you can look at stuff, but don't you dare just take things. Would I do that? That's my valuable merchandise. You want it, you'll pay for it. I decided to take on this unmanned shop. Buy something, it helps out the whole village when you do. So yeah, as you can see, he's now selling highly in shield. And yes, we want that bad boy. He's also selling red potion. I see. I suppose I can part with it. You got highly in shield. It's metal and will never burn. It also looks way better than the piece of crap we have right now. Buy something. I, I ain't got the money, bro. Maybe I can become a hero. Maybe I can't become a hero, but I figure I can help people out with heroic business deals. You better work hard, too. Dude, I saved your entire village freaking twice. What do you want from me? And yeah, I noticed there's only one extra slot for the sword here. So maybe there's only the Master Sword and the Basic Sword in this game, because, you know, again, in a link to the past, there was like four different swords. But yeah, it definitely seems like there's only an extra one here. Maybe you can kind of temper it like you can Link to the Past. Maybe it still counts as the same sword. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Anyways, check out the other buildings very quickly before we end the video. I believe there was money here that we could have grabbed. Uh, that we we found it as Wolf Link, but we didn't have the space at the time. So let's grab it very quickly. I don't recall there being anything else that we could do in here at the moment. Because, yeah, again, like I say, I went around all this shit before, so... Just trying to kind of speed up the process here a little bit and cut out the crap. Hopefully. Oh, also, the first time that I was recording when I was running around speaking to the Gorons, one of them that was uh, up above a shop, I think it was above the building that we were just in, in fact, 
Not that it's really a shop, but you get my points. Uh, I spoke to a Goron up there, and he mentioned something about his son, also assumably a Goron, running a store, but it's only open at night, so... Yeah. I assume that's in the building we were just in, because I believe the other... I don't know! I have no freaking idea, but uh, yeah, we'll come back here at night, and we'll check it out and see if we can actually buy some stuff, because... Yeah, we need things, basically. Not that we really have any money. I really kind of can't be bothered to backtrack to the temple to get it, but we may have to. Right now, what's in here? Oh, that's right, I remember there's like a weird ant bug thing. You call that, I think, female ant? Bug fans love that golden color, even though it's kind of clearly silver, but, you know, whatever. See, so yeah, one thing about the bugs that uh, someone mentioned to me, he said there's, if not always, almost always a male and female version of every single one. Makes sense. But he also said that they're almost always in the same area, like near each other. So, I did look around here last time. And there's like nothing we can do, like we can't roll, we can't use our sword, we can't climb on anything in these buildings. So like, if there is a male ant in here, I have no idea where it is. I was thinking maybe it would be under the, the uh, crates, but we can't even pull that, so... Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe when he says they're always near each other, it just means that there's gonna be a male ant in one of the buildings somewhere in this town. It's kinda hard to say, maybe this is one of the exceptions, maybe there just is none. I have no idea, but anyway! I'm gonna wait to hear. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate it. I'll like, and I'll see you next time for more Zelda.